Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are once again playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And today we start atop the Lambeth Insane Asylum, right? And, uh, well, it just says Lambeth Asylum. I don't know if we should assume it's an insane asylum. We should wait until they prove it without shadow of a doubt. Um, which they will do shortly, I think, because we are going to continue with the main series of missions here. And uh, once we head across the street and fill our wonderful, you know, contraptions here, we are going to do the mission here. So we have... We need 275 pounds worth of gear. I believe it was mostly bullets. Um, so let's talk with Mr. Darwin here, right? And uh, if we complete, well, when we complete this mission, we get Firearms Model 1 Revolver. Um, watch the umbrella there, Charles. Hey. Hey. Why? He's not even holding it. Unless it's attached to his wrist, it's like stabbed into his wrist. Um, what what you doing, buddy? I I don't think that's how you use an umbrella there. Um, hmm. So we're just gonna start this mission before he he hurts himself over there. Uh, sequence four overdose. We are well past level four. Jacob infiltrates the mysterious Lambeth Asylum to put an end to Doctor Elliotson. And uh, yeah, let's just get going here. See what Mister Darwin has to say. Mister Fry. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had a most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starek's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his Phrenology? Career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Yes, oh, thank you. And, uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. What are we going to call you? <laughs> all right, um... So, so here we are in the Lambeth Asylum, and it seems like they want us to go up to the same place we were just at here. Oh, we have some rooks. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's not the same vantage point. It, it isn't the same vantage point. Interesting. Alright, uh, let's leap of faith down. Right. And... Where do, I, where do I need to go? I don't get it. Okay. Um... Hmm. I, I guess I need to start by getting inside of the building? Okay. Where would I find the doctor? Ooh, there's a police officer right there. Hmm. Aha! So what's going on in here? Are we teaching? Uh, oh! A gallery. <laughs> As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. 
Um, Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Litson. Hmm. One unique kill opportunity. Why are they shocking this guy? I don't care about your ethics. And I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. Okay. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. Alright. Why is there a bloody handprint on that window? Um... Young doctor. Okay. So, explore the area, identify opportunities. We have the nurse who's an infiltration opportunity, the young doctor who is a unique kill opportunity. Okay. Uh, so, halt the electroconvulsive therapy. Let's pause this so he doesn't continue. Halt the electroconvulsive therapy session and do not fire a single bullet. Okay. So, let's grab our knives. Eagle Vision. Okay. So, he is our target. 100%. Now, we need to go down there. Who is this guy? Young Doctor. Take the place of the cadaver to reach the medical theater. Ooh. Uh-huh. So... That's interesting that we have that opportunity, that we can hide the cadaver and then take its place. Now, the question, what is he doing? Is he, why is he just, why is he just laying on the floor? That doesn't seem very hygienic to me, young doctor. Um... It looks like there's some stairs over there, so let's head this way. Yes, there are stairs. Ooh. Alright. I don't know that this is the way I want to be going here. Uh-oh. There's a guy coming. Let's hide in here. Alright. Restricted area. So there's, there's another place I can hide right there. Alright, I think I want to try and take this guy down, but I don't really want to kill him. I don't know if, I don't think all of these guys deserve to die. There we go. So let's see if we can toss him in here. Please. Thank you. Okay. Now. I think I'm going to get seen. Ooh, there's another guy right over there. But I, that area is more... That area over there is going to be nicer to infiltrate, I think. Oh, I see. That's not... That's not a... Guard. So let's head down these stairs. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They see me. Hi. Okay. Uh, so we've been... We've been spotted. Okay. Why can't I... I... It must be because they're startled that it won't let me uh, blend with them. Okay. So. We are going to carry this guy and throw him in the hole here. Fine. 
Oh, that's that's not what I wanted to do. I want to hide him. Come on, you can do it. Hide body, please. Oh. Uh, that was interesting. Okay, so this is quickly going downhill. Where'd that other guy go? Oh no, he's coming back. Uh. I'm gonna get seen. I'm gonna have to kill again. Hmm. I don't think he really cares, actually. Um, so I think... I think I want to go that way to get downstairs. Uh... Hmm. Alright. He's hiding. Or, or he's walking off that way. I can... Hide this guy. Let's see if he's gonna fly. Yeah, he fly. Whoa, flies way up into the sky too. All right. Um, now that nurse is way over there. I kind of want to go see her. So let's let's do that. Let's actually go do that. We're gonna go see the nurse because I think we can probably get some keys or something from her. At minimum here. Help you? Certainly. Is she outside? No, go out the window, please. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Can I just... Can I just walk in through this front door? No. No entry point is up. Okay, so we'll go up here. And we'll enter. Shh. Ooh, hello. Hey, excuse me. Alright, um... So I guess... No, no, no. Don't identify him. Can I identify her? Please? Hide the corpse. Okay, so we're gonna try to pickpocket this guy or something. Okay. Medicine full. That doesn't help. How do I... How do I do anything with her? Oh. Ooh, actually. I can hide you right here. There we go. Hmm. Speak to... Oh, it just wants me to speak to her. Okay, so why can't I speak to her? What's Steal the matter? The master key. Young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Hmm. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here. Okay. So he's the guy who stole the key, unlocks all doors in the asylum. Right. There's something very peculiar about that Dr. Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson cannot be allowed to continue his experimentation. I recommend you stop struggling. Yes, stop struggling. So we're going to knock this guy out and throw him in the cupboard. Hmm. So he's moved. That guy has really moved all the way over there now. And it looks like the only way to really get to him is going to be to go up through here. Uh, 
He's coming back this way, though. I must speak to Nurse Nightingale. Shh! Stop talking! Alright, here he comes. Where is he going to go? That's the question. He walks over there. Oh, what are these guys doing? That nurse is really upset. Alright, we're gonna take this guy out. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> take that. Alright, we'll toss him in there. Now, I saw a chest. Ooh. Maybe. Hello? Hi there. Hey. There we go. Now, I feel like there is a chest somewhere right there. And I want to get that. Now, let's see if I can knock him out or if I have to assassinate him. We're fast friends now, aren't we? Aha. Good. So we're going to knock him out. And I see a locked chest here, so I think we want to go after that, too. Go and hide in there. Alright, how do I get way up there? It looks like I need to go up the stairs. Alright, so let's, let's just head up here, like this. No one will ever know. And then up here? Aha! Right there. Whose little cozy room is this? Yes, I live in the bell tower in the Asane Asylum. <laughs> That's uh would be a great like pickup line there. <laughs> Tan Tanjore poison? I wonder what that could possibly unlock. Oop. Uh oh, this guy's coming this way. Um Let's head around this way then. Oh, he's coming back. He's faking me out. Can't have that. Alright, I think we should be good now. Yeah, we're good. That guy's not looking the right way. He's all confused. Can we let the nurse out and then keep her key? You have my gratitude, sir. I shall inform Miss Nightingale that I'll not be working for this asylum ever again. Okay. So. How are you trapped? I let you out. I think she's a little confused. Alright, so we need to head head downstairs now. So we'll go through here. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Where is the electrotherapy thing happening? I think it's happening over there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head this way. Uh oh. Yeah, I think it's happening right over there. And another criminal escapes scot-free. Shh. Don't you call me a criminal. Alright. So I suppose that's one way of wandering around. So we're gonna go over here and knock you unconscious. Perfect. Grab you, toss you in the curtain in area. 
Okay, that guy looks like, yeah, he's coming back out. So... Ooh, he's not, though. Hmm. That's the electroconvulsive therapy. So we're just going to wait here for a second. And we are going to take care of uh, this guy when he comes back through. We're going to get a smoke bomb. And I think with the smoke bomb, I can continue doing this mostly non-lethally. Shh! Okay, got him. That guy doesn't look like he's doing anything. I don't know what he's doing in there. It's kind of sketchy. Is that... That's just like a laundry room, and he's just hiding in the laundry room. Oh, dear. All right. Ready? Um, please. Please. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know if you really deserve to die, but I tried to, to not kill you. It really didn't happen. It, it, it was sort of for your own good. I mean, you know, who knows what other things you would have done if I hadn't stopped you. Dr. Elliotson is mad, right? So... We need to go down into the morgue after we hide these guys, and we need to hide the existing body, and then hide under the covers, and be brought up to the, well, um, operation area, I guess? <laughs> now, what do we have for people here? Oh, I'm stuck. So we got a couple guys here. Hide body. So it looks like it's just those two, huh? Okay. Can't wait to be home with my wife and kids. Aha! Uh -huh. Hide the body is right there, I think. So we'll grab this guy. Whoa! Way to be brutal there, Jacob. Choke him out, and then, like, after he's already choked out, punch him in the face, hmm? Please pick him up. I know I complained about the controls of Unity, and, uh... Uh-oh. He's pretty close. Let's grab this guy before that random guy sees what's going on here. I really hope he doesn't see me. Uh-oh. Where is he going? Is that a he? Yeah, that is a he. Okay. Hide body. Um... Bloody rats. Take that, you filth. <laughs> He's arguing with the rats. Okay, so there we are. We have hidden the body. Okay, and now that guy's there, so we are going to quickly get on this stretcher. And no one's gonna notice. I can't believe we're doing this. He doesn't notice the boots. Don't move, Jacob. Like, I, I can just... <laughs> kicks the rats once more for good measure. Oh, here we are. Here it is, Doctor. All right.
Oh, someone isn't having fun here. We will continue our experiment shortly. Okay. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Really? Since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. That's an interesting thought, Corpses Doctor. do not have boots. What? Ah! Oh, I missed... Oh, maybe I didn't. Did I get it? Did I fail? I might have failed because I waited too long. I hope I didn't fail. I got him! Goodbye, Doctor. Corpses don't have boots. At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Starrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I are a child. A child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? How does he know my father? Huh. Interesting. All right. So now we're going to escape. Because I assume that all the madmen in this place will want to chase me down. Uh, escape the area. I can't get out of here this way. Hmm. I get. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> These people are so confused. They're like. This guy just murdered someone, and now he's climbing the walls. Alright. Um, so, out we go. Come here. Police? Don't call them. I don't want to deal with them, too. Alright, can I go this way now? No, I can't. So, I guess we're going to continue over here. Can I... No, I can't go out there. We have an intruder! Uh oh. Hi. You guys really shouldn't be fighting me. I mean, I suppose you are medical people in the asylum and you're used to, like, wrestling the criminally insane or whatever um, down and um, giving them the, their medicine. But, like, I, I'm an assassin and I'm obviously good enough at my job that you shouldn't bother me. Okay, we'll use our master key. Hey guys! So, we have succeeded without firing a single bullet. I actually don't know, like, why you would fire a bullet. There's not really any um, opportunities where I think that it would be useful to shoot at people. What are we doing? Uh-oh. What's this? Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry Outrageous. intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but you. He's simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist! Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me, Crawford Starrick, for their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. 
They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry, this insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this, this miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzoberg. Berg runs oh, yeah. a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Okay. Hi, Rebecca. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. Hmm. So they're in a factory building in... England? A letter for a letter. me? For me? Oh, I thought the auto audio was dropped. Guess not. That's interesting. It's given us a lot to, th to think about here. We've got Rebecca and Sean. Okay, that's good. We have found... We have you know, heard of for the first time, Sigma Team. And it looks like we are now on Sequence 5. Although, we can switch between Sequence 5 and Sequence 8, so I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, and we have to pick one. So, let's pick Sequence 5. John Elliot's sin is dead, and Steric Soothing Syrup has been eradicated. Having shut down one branch of Steric's enterprise, Jacob looks to loosen the Master Templar's hold on London's transportation. Meanwhile, the race for the Shroud of Eden continues, and Evie hopes to gain the upper hand over her enemy, Lucy Thorne. So let's go. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Steric has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. All right. A letter. For me? Okay. Um, you already said that, Jacob, but whatever. So what's this? Lady Melaine's gown. I believe that's a mission with Evie. And then this is a mission with Jacob. Kukuri, Bold Eagle Kukuri. And what is this? Duleep Singh. Okay. Breaking news. This one we get photo, uh, not photo, just voltaic bombs. All right. Uh... Duleep Singh. I think we have a train mission, too. Uh, oh, M. What's M? Karl Marx? Okay. We'll have to pay Mr. Marx a visit. We still have the um, Charles Dickens memories, too. And I believe... I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's the last one. The Lady with the Lamp. Medicine Efficiency Number 2. I should probably head to this one, because that seems like it'd be very useful. Okay, and what, what is this one? Charles Darwin. Oh, so it's not... No, this is Darwin, not Dickens. Okay. Hmm. 
So we have quite a few different missions that have opened up. Um, we're going to have to go through at some point and continue to open up the city also. I think we probably want to start... Well, continue with doing the Thames and doing Southwark. So maybe that's going to be the next mission. Going through and cleaning out Southwark, cleaning up the Thames. Or maybe we'll, we'll go through and we'll do... I think we'll do a couple more missions, and then we, after that we'll clean up some more of the map. Uh, so we, we actually want to stay on the train here. Alright. I don't see where the mission is here. Ooh, 12,000. That's a nice decent amount of cash. Supply. Nice to see you also. Can I talk to you, Agnes? Mm, I guess not. So I'm that's fine. Dr. Elliotson came to a bad end. Yes. You, I'm... you cleaned up after yourself. Nope, I did not. I left him in a pile with a lot of people who saw me. All right, I don't see any train missions, so that's... That is not on the list of things to do. Interesting. Yes, it's a nice evening. There are so many people here, I can't just sit here by myself and... You know, get a quiet place to do an outro. So, <laughs> we're just going to climb up on top of the train, and we're going to end the video. And next time when we return, we're actually really close to the Karl Marx mission, so I think we're actually going to do that one. Because it will be interesting to meet a new person. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network bringing you Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everyone.